Welcome to the block party. I woke up this morning and I had yet another moist man make an uninformed comment. And he actually was lying. Making three videos a day on YouTube but claims to be a millionaire. Another moist man comment. If I was a millionaire and I was making $150,000 a month, I wouldn't be wasting my time doing YouTube videos. And YouTube has made me millions. And you know why you don't respect YouTube as a money-making vehicle? Because you use YouTube for bullshit. That's all you look at. You look at pranks or all this other stuff. I've been doing this 12 years. This is the longest business that I've ever had. 12 years going into my 13th year here on YouTube. And that should tell you something. Now, Daryl Eves, who is a, a YouTube trainer, I've known Daryl four or five years. And I remember last time I went to Vid Summit. And he was doing, he had this thing where he was doing these live streaming. And he was like, you know, he knows. Daryl actually knows how much money I make. And during our um, YouTube um, mastermind, I've been instructing people because here, here's the thing. Both my YouTube channels make six to $10,000 a month from AdSense. Now, this may blow your mind, but I have literally made $50,000 in one day because of YouTube. Because of YouTube. The last 30 days, I have made 93,000 plus my YouTube money. I made 100K in the last 30 days. The last 30 days. And it's come down. It used to be way better than that because there's an ebb and flow. But, <clears throat> Many of you moist, unaccomplished, done nothing in life men, because I know why I get these comments. If I was white, I wouldn't get these comments. I get these comments from moist black men because of self-loathing. They want to do something big, but they don't have the skill sets. They don't have the discipline because YouTube is work. And this is why like, I've been trying to start some YouTube training for years and years and years. And I only get a small group of people who sign up, small group of people who sign up. Because the vast majority of you have no clue to how much money YouTube can put in your pocket. Now, I have shown you my pay stub, $350,000. I have paid myself $221,000 this year, okay? And I have bought, I spent $500,000 getting this car rental business off the ground. That is $750,000. We still have September, October, November, December. And I've already spent $750,000 this year. For you folks who are watching my pockets, pay a real close attention. Pay real close, because he paid himself too. But he, where's all this money coming from? YouTube. I make more money per month than the average small business owner makes all year long. And you guys don't understand marketing. If you've noticed, I'll put up a video and I'll put up a link to the corporate papers, right? And we'll put up a link and I will send out emails. And it's wash, rinse, repeat. Literally sending out an email every day makes me money. But because you're blinded by all these folks, you can do this, you can do this, you can make all this money, you can do this, do this. You don't really know how to run a real business. You, you have no clue how to run a real business. And 
shout outs to the people who get it because there's many of you who get it. They're like, you see the receipts, you see the proof. You're like, yeah, I'm buying the corporate papers and you're piling on in. And there's another group of you who are fundamentally lazy and you don't want to do the work because starting a YouTube channel is work. You got to plan your videos. You got to make your videos. You got to upload your videos. Starting a YouTube channel is work. <clears throat> but this is the, this thing, this YouTube thing has made me more money than anything I've ever done. And if you knew YouTube, like I knew YouTube, you would be breaking your left nut to get a YouTube channel going to make you some money because YouTube has tiers. There's the Graham Stephan meet Kevin tier, millions of subscribers. Uh, that's less than 0.5% of YouTube. That's not even the full percentage of YouTube. That's like 0.5. That's very rarefied there. And then below that, there's me. I'm in the top 10% of YouTubers. With this hundred, both my channels are in the top 10% of YouTubers. You want to know why? There's 30 million active YouTube channels and the vast majority of them don't even get 500 views per video. So if you do a video and you get a thousand views, you're doing really well on YouTube. You're doing really well. I know when you look at the Graham Stephens and you look at the bigger YouTubes, you feel that you're not really doing anything. You look at Mr. Beast. Those are exceptional YouTube channels. Mine is somewhat exceptional. It's not like really exceptional. It's somewhat exceptional. Erica's channel is somewhat exceptional. I would not be surprised if Erica's making 1.5 million a year from her YouTube channel. I wouldn't be surprised at all. I don't know her numbers. We haven't talked about it, but I would not be surprised. See, you guys, you have to understand, Coca-Cola is always marketing. When you see a Coca-Cola truck go down the street with Coca-Cola on the side, that's marketing. When you see a Coca-Cola commercial, because see, marketing isn't just running ads. It's your logo. It's, it's so many things. And there's some things I've really got to do to clean up my act. But... I laugh every time I see one of these moist men comments, like the one that cracked me up. If I was making $150,000 a month, I wouldn't be where you are doing YouTube. I, make I was making $150,000 a month because of YouTube, you clown. But once again, there are so many charlatans. There are so many um, fake people on YouTube who are gassing you up, telling you, you can start a business and you can make all of this money and you don't have to change. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. And you can still be hanging out with baby bamboo and big booty Betty and not work that hard. Whereas I, my messaging is totally different. Like, look, man, you're going to bust. You're going to be, you're going to, you're going to work really hard for two or three years. And you're not going to see a lot of progress, especially the first year. But see, here's the thing. You have to put in the work before the success comes. And a lot of you are starting to get that. A lot of you are completely clueless. Because when I, when, I, when I saw that comment, I started giggling. I started giggling. I'm just sitting there like, this is what's so funny about my haters. They watch some of what I do and there's they're some who watch everything I do. And it's wild how unintelligent these people are. They're not that bright because if you were to watch everything I do and see all the receipts and see the proof, you'd be like, okay, that, that's a lot of money, but they're not that bright. <laughs> they're not that smart. Hence, why they're in the moist man basement, hence why they're so jealous. Look, and I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. You cannot have what you hate. Whenever I, you know, when I was poor or I wasn't making this kind of money, if I saw someone in a Bentley 
or a Ferrari, I would like, congratulations, that's good for them. They probably work really hard and they deserve that. That was my mindset. It wasn't like, oh, he must think he's big and bad because he got a Ferrari. That's, that stuff on a subconscious level will keep you from being successful with your little weak ass. And I know, I know, I know life is hard. I know that people are struggling and I get that. But until you start to embrace higher principles, such as, you know, what I'm going to be talking about tomorrow at 5 p.m. It ain't sexy. It's not like, hey, what's up, hustlers? It ain't none of that. But it is so important to your success because I'm going to tell you something. I do YouTube videos when I don't even feel like it. I'm like, bruh, you need to do that video. I've been sick and I've done my YouTube videos. You want to know why? Because it keeps bringing in money. Um, I have several videos this month that haven't been monetized because I was using Kanye West, Jay-Z songs. I didn't even monetize them. I'm not going to make any YouTube money from those YouTube videos. But one video that I did, I made $10,000 from that video because it's selling my online course. Ten thousand. What would you do if you could make ten thousand dollars in one day? What would you do? What would you do? Let me go ahead and tell you what you would do. If you could make ten thousand dollars in one day, you would take the rest of the month off, and that's why you're never going to get rich. Um, this this is a weekend, and I am working. I, I'm I'm going to be. This may be screwed as elitist or disrespectful. I don't care. I got more money in my wallet. I got like 1600 bucks in my wallet. I got more money in my wallet than most of you have in your bank accounts. And there's a reason, because I, I, I'm not afraid to work. I'm not afraid to show up. I show up and I show out. And here's the thing, and this is why I am the apex predator of YouTube, and I talk so much junk about other YouTubers. Many of them have induced you that you can be really successful without working that hard. I've literally seen it messaging like, you know, you do this for three or four weeks, you can quit your job. Now, I will say if you start a good service business, you could potentially quit your job in a very quick amount of time. However, you will be working. Like one of the biggest scams is the wholesale guys. Can you make a lot of money wholesaling? Yes, you can. But you're not going to do it like part time. I know a guy who wholesales. He works 50, 60 hours a week. He, 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 he makes good money, but he, he's like, he, he said the thing that gets him is how much money he has to spend to make money. Let me say this again. He has to spend, I think, about $10,000 a month to keep his pipeline full of leads. And I've seen wholesale video and like, you know, um, you know, bandit signs and stuff. My, my friend, he has bandit signs. He has online ads. He spends about $10,000 a month to bring that money in. And what, what many of you do not understand, you're not going to start an Instagram page and blow up. You're not going to start a YouTube page and blow up. You can start a YouTube page and you work and you can appropriately send the right messaging to the right niche. There's riches in niches. You can do that. But once again, there's so many people who are haters on YouTubers because there are some YouTubers and I would say being a YouTuber that if you're a top YouTuber, you work really, really hard. You know, I'm not a fan of Graham Stephens, but I cannot deny that the dude works hard. He ain't working like 20 hours a week. He's working 40, 50 hours a week. I guarantee it. I guarantee it between all the stuff he's got going on that he might be working more hours. Mr. Beast is not working 20 hours a week. Mr. Beast is working 50, 60 hours a week to make five, six, seven million a month. Well worth it, well worth it. So you two, what you guys don't understand, marketing and we haven't even gotten into that because essentially in the corporate papers 
First thing we do is we set up our holding companies. Then we set up an operating company. And then we set up the operating company to make money. It is step by step by step. And this Sunday, we're going to get into some critical details. Now you may be able to get into the corporate papers in October. That's cool. It'll be there. But here's the thing, guys. Stop waiting. You're waiting and you're delaying your success. Like I'm making this video. I think it's what? Six o'clock in the morning. I'm making this video. I have what's called a sense of urgency. Like yesterday, uh, I'm, I'm going I'm to share some with you. There's a reason that I'm working like a maniac to get this car business to a certain level. And I've worked the numbers and I've done the projections. And if I keep doing what I'm doing by December, I should be making close to 40 something to $50,000 per month. That's top line revenue. That's not including expenses and deductions. And one of the reasons that I am working this business so hard is this going to give me an, a massive tax deduction. I'm getting a big ass refund check. I'm going to get the biggest refund check I've ever seen in my life next year because of this car business. So that's one reason I'm doing it. And another reason is from September 1st, 2021 to September 1st, 2022, I'm going to build another million dollar business right before your eyes to show you that I can do more than YouTube because you, you have that YouTube channel, man. If you, but I do, ha ha ha, I do, I built this. I know you hate that. Well, if you didn't have that YouTube channel and I had someone my, who will remain nameless. Well, you know, he's trying to start all these other YouTube channels and I started Savage Finance. Savage Finance has 41,000 subscribers. Ha 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 ha. At the end of this year, Savage Finance will probably have 60,000 subscribers. And uh, once again, there's a reason I'm doing what I'm doing. First of all, I must admit, I enjoy working. What I do is fun. When you work and you see fiscal results from your work time and time again, like sending out email, there ain't nothing sexy about sending out an email. There ain't nothing sexy about doing a YouTube video at six o'clock in the morning. But what I have learned is you keep hitting it, you keep hitting it, you keep hitting it, you keep hitting it, then it's like ching ching, money comes out. You keep hitting it, you keep hitting it, you keep hitting it, and for my haters, I am teaching you right before your eyes how to operate and run a business, but because you such a little jealous bitch, yeah, I only make two, I consistently been making two videos, but I might make a third video today. Because, you know, one of the things is I kind of have to, you know, well, I probably won't make a third because I have to spread the content out. I cannot make uh, three videos, like make a video at 10 a.m. and then make another one at 12 a.m. What will happen is every time you make a video, you reset your YouTube channel. So if I made videos back to back to back, all of them would do less well than one, one or two videos. And this is why I do my video in the morning and I may do a live stream in the evening because if I give it 12 hours, I can get 1,500 to 3,000 views, then I do a live stream. And once again, the live streams I've been doing have been patently boring. They have not been sexy, they've not been trendy, and I don't get a lot of people showing up because I'm doing these, one of the reasons I'm doing these live streams is I'm doing the live streams for the serious people. And most folks are not serious. When I do a live stream talking about, you know, Skynet or the Great Reset, those those do really well. I've got one, uh, the Kill Switch Chronicles with Nelly and the Gold Teeth. That's got like 7,000 views. Um, those videos do really, really well because people like 
content that discusses ideals and stuff like that. But I've intentionally reduced my reach by having more serious content because serious content attracts less views, but it attracts the right type of person. The serious content attracts people who spend money. So I can have a video that might have 1500 views, right? And that video may generate me three sales and it may make me $6,000. I would do that all day long. I would do, hell yeah, I'll do that all day. Oh yeah, yeah. I would be making YouTube videos from now until I take that dirt nap because I have a formula, I have seen it work, and YouTube has put millions and millions of dollars in my pocket. And for many of you who have been watching these YouTubers who are trying to, you know, let's, let's be, I'm gonna be blunt. I'm trying to get your money too. I dare I said it. I'm trying to sell you a course to teach you how to run and set up your business. Absolutely. I am trying to get your money and they're trying to get money, but the difference between me and them, I'm being honest. I ain't lying to you. They're lying to you. And the thing is, they're consciously lying to you. They're consciously lying to you. And one of the things you guys have got to understand, you got to work. Like today, I'm renting out probably three or four cars, and I only got one car that's rented. But I, I know how Saturdays tend to be. Uh, I tend to get more rentals on Saturdays. And I got to pick up some cars and stuff, and I got to plan my content, and I got to plan for tomorrow. So I'm working this weekend, and the last three and a half months, I've been working seven days a week. And this will continue until next Sunday. This Sunday, we do training at 5 p.m., and next Sunday, we do training at 5 p.m. And then I'm going to shift the training to Tuesday at 7 p.m. And it seems that the once a week training is working much better than everyday training because everyday training was just too much. So we might have a second training or I may go ahead and post some training there and then send you guys an email. But at a minimum, we're going to have once a week live training where you can ask questions. And I urge you, if you're in the corporate toolbox, to show up because this is what I get. A lot of people don't attend the live webinars and then they'll hit me up with a million questions. And I'm like, okay, you know you could have had that question answered in person and got an immediate answer. So we, we have what we have. But there is a reason that Graham Stephan has two or three YouTube channels, the Ice Coffee Hour and something. There's a reason. Like, you can make a fantastic amount of money strictly just from YouTube if you hit right. Like Kelly Stamps, Kelly hit right. Kelly makes $50,000 a month from YouTube. I love Kelly. Kelly's funny. You know, she, she's got, she's found her lane. And you can, like, the average financial YouTuber with 300,000 subscribers will do about 20,000 to 30,000 a month. Let me say this again. The average personal finance YouTuber with 300,000 thousand subscribers will do 20 to 50,000 a month. This is why they keep producing the content because it keeps producing the money. I mean, once again, I'm guilty of it too. I want, I want your money. Absolutely. Yeah. I want your money, but I'm not going to lie to you to get your money. That that's the big difference between me and everyone else. Um, they will lie. They will leave things out. They will leave important details because before I got started doing my car rental business content. Uh, I've seen some other people. There's a few people who were talking. There's one video that I commented on. He had, you know, he and some business partners bought eight cars and they lost their ass on Turo. You know, and you've got people telling you to finance cars for Turo. Telling you. And I, I, I keep saying that financing cars for Turo can be a very risky strategy. And his video outlined it, you know, because... What's going to happen? Like I, I have a BMW that I had getting serviced the other day and I rented it out and I noticed that there's scratches on the roof. There's a scruff mark on the bumper. And, you know, 
I wasn't like mad because the car still looks good and drives on the bumper. As long as the bumper's not hanging off or something like that, I, I'm not like going to really worry about that. But here's the thing. If you rent a car on any platform, it's going to have damage. It's just going to have it. It's going to have either scratches, scuff marks and stuff. There's just people tend to be careless with rental cars. It's just a fact. And one of the reasons like they're like, I'm, I'm going to tell you in September, I'm going to launch another business. So there's going to be the YouTube business, the online course business, the other business, the car rental business. And probably there's going to be some other, I'm probably have like five or six businesses. And if you're in the corporate papers, you're going to get the intimate details of those businesses. Because here's the thing, and guys, listen to me, and I want you to listen to me really, really well. You're not going to get rich without working. There's a reason that I'm rich. There's a reason that I make money. There's a reason that I make the money that I make, because I work. And once again, um, shout out to the credit plug. He, he left a really good comment on my other video over on Savage Finance. And he said the average person is going to make more money from a small business than investing. But why do people want to invest? Because they feel that they can make all of this money and not have to do anything. And that is fundamentally false. Because I'm here at 6 a.m. doing a YouTube video on the Saturday because you know what? It's going to make me some money. Someone's going to see this video and like, oh, I like that message. And they're going to buy some. That's why I make all these YouTube videos. Because... Once again, like I said, I've, I've kind of changed tactics because there's videos that I, there's video like Savage Finance. If I talked about credit all the time, my channel would be much bigger. Um, the credit plug, he has found out and he's openly said that when he talks about how to get credit with no credit check, those videos do really, really well. But there's not a lot of banks that are going to give you good amount of credit with no credit check. That's just facts. And he's talked about it quite a bit because I have changed how I'm doing Savage Finance because if I only get people who are looking for how to get credit with bad credit, what am I looking at? I'm looking at an audience that has no money. And I'm looking at an audience that has no money. So if they have no money, they can't spend no money. So I stopped making that content even though my channel would be bigger I wouldn't make less money because audience and you know, once again, we're going to talk about market research and we're going to talk about audiences and all this other stuff going down the road. But essentially what I have to do is to give you the game step by step and make it into digestible bite sized chunks. I cannot like the strategic holding company, which is part of the corporate papers. It was a lot. But that's why I'm saying for you to review it several times, because once you begin to understand the corporate language and you begin to speak it, it's going to become easier. And well, well I want you guys to be successful, but I, I'm, I'm just going to say it. You're not going to be successful. Um, like I've I seen someone messaging that you can start trading options and quit your job in literally three weeks or two months. And this is the dream. Everybody wants to quit their job. Everyone wants to quit their job and be their own boss. But here's the thing. I'm doing this video at six o'clock in the morning. Who told me to do this video at six o'clock in the morning? Nobody. See, this is the primary reason that most people can't be their own boss. They have no self discipline, none. And if you need someone to tell you, pick up that box and take that box over there. If you're that kind of person, you're never going to be able to run a business because you're, you have no sense of urgency. You're, you, you're, you're just not. As long as you need someone to tell you what to do and how to do it, you, you're never going to be a business owner. Never. And this is one of the things that I put training in the corporate papers to help you guys understand what is possible, what is possible if you go ahead and apply yourself, because like I said, uh, this YouTube channel is from a YouTube standpoint is kind of dead. None of my videos like really explode. Whereas I can do the right video on Savage Finance and it'll take off. 
So one of the things that you got to understand, and I'm going to start the YouTube training probably October, and everyone who bought the corporate toolbox, you're in that. You don't have to spend anything else. We will send you and hook you up and we'll teach you. And if you're in the corporate papers, you will get a discounted link because if you knew what I knew, you would have a YouTube channel already. If you knew what I knew, you would be working on your YouTube channel seven days a week. I mean, I want you to think about my life. I make millions of dollars from home. Let me say this again. I make millions of dollars from home. If I was just strictly doing YouTube and online courses, I never would have to leave the house to make millions of dollars. I want you to think about that. I want you to think about how powerful that is. I can make millions of dollars up in my house. I don't have to go nowhere. And if really, one of the things I discovered last year and why I have Deanna and I'm probably gonna have two or three more employees this year is I kind of got stuck because Honestly, this lifestyle's somewhat addictive. Make a video, create an online course, get paid, and have a, fun, a lot of free time. I mean, before I started the car rental business, I was working about 20 hours a week. Maybe 20, I wasn't producing as many YouTube videos, and I was good. I was Gucci, as they would say. And then I began to start looking at some other stuff, and I was like, you know, I want more. I want, I want a little more. And that's why I started working because in 2022, I'm going to have three multiple million dollar businesses in 2022 because it's fun. And I'm going to show you the process. I'm going to document it because one of the things that I push back on, and I really push back hard on it is you can start a business and you can become a millionaire. You can. You can't do it quickly. That's the big issue. And this is what people are selling, that you can do it so fast. You can do it so fast. And the reality is there's a reason that 75% of the country makes $30,000 a year or less. There's a reason. Because making money dictates having a system, having a process. And a lot of people don't have a system and a process. And a lot of people have no discipline. You got to have discipline. And this is something that's funny. In my Richard Fame video, I had someone that's like Richard numbers, and it clear Richard clearly says his car payment was a thousand bucks. And it's like he said his car payment was fourteen hundred. And this this is one of the things with YouTube. When you have when you're a personality, and like Richard is a very likable guy. He's a really likable guy. And people start to hear what they want to hear. Because he clearly said, My car payment is a thousand. He did not say my car payment is fourteen hundred. He said it was a thousand. And I'm just like, I am not even going to talk to you because it would be like talking to you would be talking to this guy who said Bitcoin's from God. I was like, all right, I'm out. I ain't, I'm talking no more, no more conversation because I know I'm dealing with a clown. And guys, if you knew what I knew and here's the thing. And I, I was having a consulting call with someone and he was like, he was like, I'll start a YouTube channel. I should start making money in three months. I started laughing. I was like, try two years. If you know, it depends upon your niche. It depends upon your content. There's so many variables that go into it. And when I first started this YouTube channel, I started making money. And I remember I wasn't getting paid for YouTube for almost two years. This channel wasn't monetized for about two years. Cause back then you just couldn't get monetized. Uh, you had to enter into the YouTube partner program. And what they would do is you had a video that took off. It's like, hey, you can monetize this video. And then you apply for the partner program and then you would get in. So I was making money off this YouTube channel two years before I got monetized. And that's why I laugh when these clowns are he putting out these videos and make all that YouTube money. Make all I mean, my YouTube money compared to my online course money. <laughs> I literally make. 12, 15 times with my online course money than my YouTube money. I'm gonna put that in the community section. I'm gonna put that in the community section and link, link this video. It, it's funny because 
I know how to build a business. I know how to build a brand. And that's what I'm going to teach you in the corporate papers. So stop waiting. Go ahead, get in the corporate papers. And like, like I said, you're going to have to work. You're looking at a two to three year journey. And if you don't take action, guess what? Those two to three years are going to pass by anyway. So you can be working really hard, building your brand, building your corporate empire, or you can sit down and do nothing. And today you're 31, three years from now, you will be 34. So you can actively be working on your future or you can just let time pass you on by. So go ahead, get the corporate papers. The price goes up September 1st. And we're getting close to that because today's the 21st. We only have 10 more days in this month, 10 more days. So go ahead, get in, get the corporate papers, and I will see you guys in the next one.